Terrorism is alive and well. The threat is still real, right here in our country, right now, today. What happened in New Jersey in 2007 can happen to anyone, anywhere in this country. Terrorists were planning to attack an army installation. Local police learned this through a tip from a Circus City employee who received a tape of terrorist type activity. They got the FBI involved. The investigation revealed that terrorists were planning to obtain a number of guns and other weapons and attack Fort Dix. Months later, federal and local authorities arrested six people. What they did, the citizen, the local law enforcement, the FBI, they broke the cycle of terrorist planning. Watching, planning, rehearsing, attempting to attack, that's the cycle. And terrorists have been doing it for years. Terrorists have attacked us before, but the attacks of September 11, 2001 gave us a whole new perspective. Terrorism was something that used to happen overseas. Suddenly, it was something happening right here at home. We realize we're no longer protected by vast oceans. We realize we're no longer protected by military power alone. We got to maintain that perspective, maintain our defense. Terrorists are constantly scheming to attack your army, your country, and even your family. See this? Terrorists don't. There are people who try to hurt us, and they are sneaky. We don't know where or when terrorists will attack, but that shouldn't matter. We must continuously assess the threat. Preparation is what matters. Our anti-terrorism plans prepare us to prevent an attack. Our plans prepare us to respond to an attack. Make preparation your focus. We must continue integrating anti-terrorism principles across the force, through education, through awareness. Anti-terrorism education and awareness, plans and training. Leaders must continue to make these a priority. This is strategic, and it has to be effective because it's critical. Individuals, be aware of your surroundings at all times. Units, understand the terrorist mindset, their tactics and objectives you might uncover potential terrorists and their methods. Be familiar with signs of suspicious activity. Be aware of what's going on around you, wherever you go. In your daily routine or while traveling abroad. In your neighborhood or community. I watch places and events with large gatherings of people, hospitals, sports events, office buildings. I watch for suspicious things like baggage left alone. I watch my neighborhood, our schools, and playgrounds. I watch our installations and other standalone facilities. I watch for any kind of suspicious activity, anytime, anywhere. There are many things to watch for, but only one thing to do. If you see suspicious activity, report it. If you see something weird or someone acting strange, tell someone. Tell your installation security or local law enforcement. Soldiers can tell someone in their chain of command. Tell a parent, a teacher, or a friend. See something, say something. Family members can tell a military spouse or the family readiness group. Your vigilance may help put together a puzzle that reveals a terrorist plan. We can make our facilities the hardest of targets by planning, training, rehearsing, and exercising, having our scouts out. We can turn our Army community into a real obstacle to terrorism. Random anti-terrorism measures keep the enemy off balance. Do that and you help keep your Army community alive and well. Terrorist attacks here and abroad. These are warnings we must heed. These are lessons we cannot forget. Terrorists use asymmetric tactics. They're unconventional, unexpected, and they could strike anytime, anywhere. In the Mumbai attack, you had an active shooter. That's an evolving threat that warrants our attention. We cannot be complacent. We must be vigilant. Do what we do best. Integrate anti-terrorism into our training. So stay alert, because you can make a difference. Be ready, because your nation is depending on you.